as I sit here. I give thanks to my mother, Naida, who created me from a seed. And my father, Richard, who was the carrier delivering me. To her. In each previous couple of grandparents until it became asexual reproduction and woe manifestation in each life predecessor until the very first spark that started this chain reaction cycle I am the current result of. Each of us humans have that in common. We are closer in age than we are apart. For what is 120 years a comparison of a number that has no end, infinity. And when we look inwardly, dividing down to a number that has no beginning, the infinitesimal. The gap between the oldest living human and youngest created human is minuscule. We should be, we should be including newborns and up in the conversation about how we run the world. Because them cries is words too. But instead we argue and fight about who was the original. We argue and fight about Genders, colors, hair textures and lengths, body heights and weights, sexual orientations and our birthplace and every other difference that can be detected. Our natural identity is our birthright. Yeah, we argue and fight. We argue and fight. We argue and fight about whose system of control and management of society is best rather than focusing on improving on the current systems we are a part of by adopting what is best and discarding the rest. Besides food cultures, besides fashion senses, besides entertainment methods, besides the most extravagant and luxurious lifestyles possible from the slums of the world to the Trump Towers and Burj Khalifa, yet I see them both as the same thing. <laughs> Due to the marginalized, ostracized, disenfranchised, uninsured, hospitalized, and countless whom I refuse to allow to be uncounted, who have lost their lives to actualize the dreams and drive of those who sit in thrones of gold for the egos to be satisfied. From the Great Wall to Berlin to what Trump's planning on building, you see silence is worse than violence because it allows violence to act and speak for it. Transparency is honorable and noble and on a transparent and shared hit list just because you're trying to make positive changes. See, this ain't no John Wick shit. Secrecy is dangerous, but it too has its place. Extremism is fear, but it too has its place. <laughs> we push back against what causes pain to others with equal and opposite force in hopes of overpowering with love, but hate, it too has its place. We can't love the tragedies we see. We hate them. We hate them! So after we use love to try to find a way to eradicate them, refugees, we displace them, display them as born in the wrong time, wrong place one. The burden is on you to figure a way out, simply create one. Disregard not connection and contribution that has helped shape them and still contains them. Well then, what shall we do is naturally the next burning question. The answer, everything we can. Allow the leaders of the world to be those who are masters and teachers of crafts of trade like doctors and retired doctors, nurses and retired nurses, plumbers, carpenters, welders, pipe fitters, architects and electricians, solar technicians, computer scientists, marine biologists, engineers, entomologists, and every other type of specialist, scientists, philanthropists, the most celebrated humanitarian activists, artists, and inventors of inventions that are positives, midwives and doulas, and including the people who use the things that we produce because we're all needed to be included. The panel to spare the spaceship Earth, we should be creating spaceships, maybe an eighth the size of the earth to diverse the universe. But after we heal the earth first, Elon Musk must keep on, I guess. But I digress. What political system did he use in the International Space Station? Honestly, I doubt it was democracy or capitalism. We should fulfill the Venus Project prophecy. That's an ode to 
Jock Fresco and Roxanne Meadows. You see, ask what can you do to the people who are already doing it? But most importantly, do something. Do to others as you would want done to yourself. Look at everyone as your family and continue to help. Everyone here wants to hear something compelling and profound. Truly, you are the ones who have the ability to change the world. It's up to you and me to be compelled to do it. By changing ourselves, we do it. So let's do it.